Okay, folks, the time has finally come. Um, I've actually been wanting to do this for about a year now and just haven't had a super good opportunity, but I am on vacation and found a good location with the right size trees in the right location to be able to set this up. What we're actually gonna be doing, um, there is a short piece of 3 8 inch synthetic line right there at the end of this rigging. Um, it was made in China. I ordered it off of Amazon. I can't remember sp the specifics, but they claimed some crazy high um, brake strength on it, which I'm sure they've got absolutely no testing to back up. But I've done some failure testing on it, and I've been able to um, get it to repeatedly and predictably break. I'll explain that in just a second. But what we're actually going to be doing is demonstrating the effectiveness of the safety lanyards that are made by Safe Extract, which is what this yellow line is that you see right here. Um, it is a 3 8 inch, 12 foot long piece of synthetic line. Um, it has a large loop on one end, which I'll talk about what the use for that is in just a second. And it has a little bit shorter loop on the other end, which I've got connected to an anchor over there. This orange line right here um, is the Chinese line I was talking about. On this end, I've got it spliced just with a double pass through and then a 24 inch deep tapered berry. So this end should be good to go as far as re, um, resisting breaking. However, on this end, what I actually did was I just did a really, I did a um, Double pass through again, and a really short berry with a blunt end on it. And actually, you can see my little red piece of tape sticking out there. And in testing that I've done before, I've been able to predictably get this line to fail, essentially right at the end of that um, uh, berry. If you don't have a good taper on your berry, it creates a stress point and a weak point in the line right there um, that will lead it to fail. Um, I just used 7 8 inch... Um, screw pin bow shackles on both ends of this in order to make sure that we had a good bend radius um, for these eyes on both ends of that. The safety lanyard itself is actually going to be connected or is connected to the um, safe extract pulley block which has a hole in the, I'm sorry, the, the hub is actually hollow and it's designed specifically to be able to use a quarter inch soft shackle, which also happens to be from Safe Extract. Um, you can see 20,000 pound um, rating on that. And the idea is that once this line right here fails, this safety lanyard, which is connected over there to a tree, will arrest this gear and prevent it all from flying that direction. Um, I'm gonna be pulling with my truck which is over there um, so it's safely out of the way and we actually have safety sass over there obviously on the job she will be safe out of the way as well once we start to pull on this um, but what I've also done just because I have the gear and just wanted to rig some other stuff up I've got some other safety lanyards rigged up to other metal gear in this um, rigging which I'll talk about those first and then I'll talk about the rigging in a second. So this is another safety lanyard. Um, and it just happens to be red. It's the exact same thing. It's just a different color. Um, the long loop that is on this, on the one end of the safety lanyard is actually designed so that you can use a prussic knot um, around a line in order to accomplish the same thing that I did at the other end here with being anchored to a tree. So what I've got here is another um, safe extract pulley block with the um, hollow hub and connected to another quarter inch soft shackle. And then down at this end, which is gonna be a little weird for people to see maybe, we actually are gonna be pulling on this with a four to one um, Spanish Burton. Usually a Spanish Burton is done with two separate lines um, making up the two legs. So you'd have one line starting where I'm at, basically would be the winch line, coming up through the first pulley and then back here to the vehicle. Um, and a second line anchored also to the vehicle and then going all the way up through that second pulley and coming back to the first pulley. What I did, um, done some testing with this as well, and talk to a few of the experts. Um, this is actually a Safe Extract X-Lock and it's their um, largest one. It's a 40,000 pound rated X-Lock. And what I've done is the red line that you see here is a 9 16 inch line from Safe Extract. 
you can see rated for 37,900 pounds. Um, so I've got one line going all the way through the first pulley back and essentially anchored at this X lock. Um, that line won't travel through the X lock, it's essentially locked. So both of those legs are locked in, in that X lock. And that second leg then comes up through the far pulley and is connected back here to this one. All of the gear that I have that is connected here is rated way far and above um, whatever it's gonna take to break that piece of uh, orange synthetic. Um, the tree straps on both ends are rated for about 62,000 pounds. I've got all half inch um, soft shackles, which are also rated right around 62,000 pounds. My winch line is a half inch winch line. Um, down at this end, I've got two additional safety lanyards. Um, I, I forgot my other safe extract pulley, dang it. And so I'm actually using a super winch pulley, which also has a hollow hub um, designed to do the same thing with. So I've got another safety lanyard. Same thing, I've just got it around this tree. And then you can see I've got a red one attached to that X lock and around the tree as well. Um, we're gonna get set up and pull tension on this. Hopefully I have enough pull distance here before my berry in my winch line, which is going to be up here, actually gets up and starts to work through the pulley because I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to get this all tensioned. I'm going to reposition the camera down at the other end so that when it breaks, you can see all the gear come this direction and see the safety lanyard um, do its work. So give me just a minute. Okay, we've got this under tension. Um, dog is safely out of the way. I'm gonna go back over here um, behind a big tree and I'm gonna activate my winch remotely. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so that actually worked perfectly. The safety lanyard arrested that gear. It only traveled a foot or two. You can see my line fractured exactly where I said it would. Um, you have the telltale strings that pull through. Usually it's only one. This one's got, looks like three that pull loose all the way. If you trace them, you'll see it'll come actually all the way up through here where it pulled out. Um, but pretty dang cool. So, worked exactly like it was supposed to. Super neat. Okay, I just wanted to touch on a couple of additional things here really quick before we close out on this whole post. Um, I think this serves to demonstrate the importance of making sure that you do a proper tapered berry when you splice your winch or your uh, synthetic line. As I mentioned earlier, um, when I did this berry, you can see it right there, I actually just cut the line off square and buried it. Um, it's interesting that even given that there's only about a six inch berry right here, there was enough tension on that that the berry itself didn't just pull loose because this is not a locked Brummel um, splice here. All I did was pass it through once, pass it through again, and then bury it. Um, interesting that there was enough compromise at the end of that blunt berry that that's where it failed instead of just pulling out that um, buried section there. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention too, so I talked about using a Prusik. The idea, um, I didn't explain it earlier, but the idea is that fixing the safety lanyard to another line with a Prusik if something were to fail in this connection point right here and cause that metal rigging to go that direction, what that Prusik is actually going to do is 
as the line starts to tension this way, it's going to lock itself so that it won't skid down under tension along that line and help arrest that metal gear there. Um, something else, and this was a lesson that I learned, um, you need to make sure that you know what portion of your rigging is moving and what portion isn't. So this rigging, I'm sorry, this pulley block right here, as I'm running my winch, this pulley block itself is actually going to travel this direction. So I wouldn't want, for example, if this were a tree stump here, I wouldn't want to rig my safety lanyard to something stationary because as that pulley block travels away from me, eventually this safety lanyard is going to pull tight and then you're going to have um, your winch pulling against this quarter inch uh, soft shackle. So if you're going to have a moving line, a moving hardware in your line, you want to make sure that your safety lanyard is moving as well. So that's why I chose in this case to use this Prusik because as that pulley block moves away from me that direction, this line is moving with it. And so that Prusik knot is also moving with it and is going to be able to maintain that same bit of um, slack in, in that safety lanyard. So just something else to think about.